Good morning. <laughs> Happy Friday. Um, tomorrow is Ruben's birthday. <laughs> it is, it's your birthday tomorrow. He will be one. Ha, ha, how? <laughs> how? How? How are you one tomorrow? <laughs> so this time last year I was in labour. Not that we knew it at the time. So I had my first contract. I was in pain the night before. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, yeah. So on the Wednesday, we went to see the, we were allowed out of the hospital on the Tuesday. No, hang on. Waters broke on the Sunday, went to hospital. They kept me in until the Tuesday. No, the Wednesday morning I was allowed to go home. The Wednesday, Eve, like at five o'clock I had a midwife appointment and I said I was in a lot of pain but she said it was just because there was no fluid left around him and everything was going to hurt but definitely wasn't in labour but I was in quite a bit of pain um, so you kind of trust the midwife and uh, then I went to bed because everything hurt and all I wanted to do was have a bath but I was told at the hospital I wasn't allowed a bath because my waters had broke and then I woke up at two o'clock in the morning with what I thought was Braxton Hicks because everyone kept on telling me I wasn't in labour but we were in labour and then Reuben was born just after midnight so yeah, this time last year you were being very wiggly yes but yeah you're going to be one tomorrow or just after midnight yeah I'm so emotional about this I had a client tell me on Wednesday, we were talking about Reuben, and uh, she was like, oh, so you don't have a baby after Friday? I was like, what? <coughs> She's like, oh, well, there'll be a toddler on Saturday. He's not a baby anymore. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're my baby. <laughs> yeah. Right. Reuben got us up at half past five. So you had a bot bot. I had some coffee. We watched some Paralympics. It was good. John has now gone to work and it's time for toast. Okay, so toast and banana, enjoyed by everybody. Um, Mr. Reuben has got a lot of banana rubbed in his hair. So, um, morning bath and then I get dressed. And yes, I have a pumpkin out, it's August. Um, in my defense, Reuben got it out. <sighs> had a box and had some decor bits in. And Reuben decided he quite likes to walk around with that one. I think because when it's a bit, when it goes dark or like in the morning, when we get up at five uh, <laughs> and it's dark, it twinkles, quite likes it. So yeah, but it's not my fault. The full decor items, the autumnal decor is out in August. I wonder if I can use that excuse when I'm putting out Christmas decorations in September don't know right morning bath try and get some banana out of his hair so both managed to well we're going to bath I had a shower I will dry my hair later he has gone down for his nap I should be doing a million things but I'm gonna sit here drink a coffee and uh, try not to cry because I have cried already today because it's like he's getting so big <laughs> mm. so yeah I'm just gonna drink a coffee and hug it out in well that's been a rather chilled morning everybody got showered we even had a nap you're so cute we even had a nap I drank half a coffee and got distracted with life Reuben only slept about half hour. We have been playing, current toy favourites is his wooden Noah's Ark. Um, and then he's got these Fisher Price little people, people and animals that he really likes. And I think they're called Zoom Zoom, Zoom Zoom animals by VTech, I wanna say. Uh, they're all of a similar size. 
because they fit nicely in his hand. So they're the current toy favourite. So yeah, that's what we've been doing. Ruben's had lunch. Um, now I'm getting ready to go out. It's that awful weather. It's it's like temperature on the thingy says 18. Um, but it feels a bit clammy. But it looks like it might rain. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah. So Ruben is ready to go. Head to toe gap. Mama. Uh, Primark jeans, new look top. Living my best life. Right, let's go. basically changed him, stripped him down to a vest, given him a bit of a wet wipe wash and uh, yeah stripped off myself. It is hot. It's like it's, it was cloudy and overcast all morning and then we got halfway to town and it just was like boom like holiday sun hot. So yeah, we're a bit warm but we went to town Ruben had a gingerbread man, I had a cup of tea. I don't normally drink tea when I go out, but I ordered a coffee and the woman behind the counter pulled her face and I was like, oh, she was like, I'd recommend the tea or the hot chocolate, our coffee isn't great. And I was like, well, that's, uh, that's honest. And she basically said it was her last day tomorrow, so she's not flying. So, okay. So I had a cup of tea, Ruben had a gingerbread man. Um, yeah, went to Wilco because I wanted to get some vanilla oil from my diffuser and they only had, <gasps> hi, um, they only had the cherry one or the berry one that we already have, so we didn't get any there, um, what are you doing? <coughs> Um, went to the card factory. We only have the most quality shops in my local town. Went to the card factory. I wanted to get one of those big number one balloons. Um, they didn't have any number ones. They had three, four, five, six, seven, eights. No ones, twos, nines, or zeros. So obviously, yeah. So I've got one that's got like a number one on. Um, and I think there was like some farm animals on it. So, we've got a balloon. We've got a balloon. I did order an R balloon that was supposed to be here yesterday. We did have a lot of posts yesterday, but no balloon. Today. And there's been no postman today, but it's like... Today. You should call him for da da da. Da da da. I think the postman... And he likes to come here once a week. They don't like to do the hill to get into our little, our little cul-de-sac. <laughs> um, but yeah, the park went well. It was actually quite busy. Normally we go and you kind of see like two, three other kids, but we obviously normally the kids are at school and we normally go before three o'clock because they get big kids in there after three. Um, but there was loads of like little kids, like four, five year olds. It was really sweet. Wasn't it? Um, I ended up talking to one of the mums, and they're all apparently there's like a group of them all going to the same primary school, like the second week of September, like starting. Well, they were calling it big school, but primary school. So they've been doing play dates every Friday at the park or different parks, so the kids get to know each other before they start school. And I thought that was the sweetest thing. Um, and yeah, a couple of the kids. Some of the kids were not interested in talking to a baby, but some of them were, and it made Reuben's day. Lots of smiling, lots of babbling. He tried to run on the grass. We could, like, obviously he's quite confident walking in the house, 
but um I suppose grass is a different te like a different not texture it's like uneven isn't it so did a lot of one finger like him holding on to one finger walking um but yeah it was really cute but now I am melting my house looks like a bomb's gone off because we ended up spending twice as long at the park than we normally do because Ruben was having such a lovely time um but, yeah so I am behind on the housework and I'm too hot to be bothered by it Ooh, what's that noise <laughs> evil mummy see this so that little footstool is there to stop Reuben from climbing on the bookshelf. But Reuben has learned. Reuben has learned that he can put his full body weight on the footstool and use his feet to walk up the patio doors. But he's got socks on, so he can't grip. So that isn't happening. So he's sharing his frustration, right? I need to get some motivation. I need to tidy up before John gets home. That's it, my baby's gone to bed. Gilly, you're a dick. Taps to go on the patio door and then doesn't go out. Yeah, Ruben has... State of our house. Ruben went to bed. He didn't have an afternoon nap today because he was having so much fun at the park. We kind of stayed later. There was no afternoon nap. Um, so he was really tired, so he was falling asleep while I was feeding him his tea. Uh, so, yeah, he's gone to bed. He'll be a big boy when he wakes up. Had a little bit of a moment, I was on the sofa, I gave him his bottle, and I started to well up because he fell asleep and he just looked so beautiful. John's like, he's still your baby tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's so emotional. Ugh, I have such a mess. Right, plan of attack. John is going to order a cheeky takeaway, even though that wasn't the meal plan. And we have got to get birthday ready. Not that Ruben knows, not that Ruben cares, but um, yeah. We haven't wrapped a single thing, it's ridiculous. <sighs> Let's go. It's gone 11. Ruben's been getting up between half four and half five. So this might be a mistake, but we are ready. John has built the bike and done the balloons. And all the wrapping is done. He's also got like a million new clothes. But um, kids don't find that interesting, so we're not wrapping them. But yeah, I love this balloon. Awesome. We're ready for our one year old in the morning. Wow, how have we got a one year old? <gasps> what is it? <laughs> you want the car? It's a fire truck. Go back to sleep, um, but it's kind side of like. Side down, thrashing around. 
you get a head in your ribs, a foot in your face, and and yeah, then you probably woke up at six. So coffee's required. But yeah, lovely little morning. Um, he loves everything that he has opened so far. Loads to still. We just kind of. He was so obsessed with the bus, we the, just left him running to it. Yeah, the bus is definitely a winner. Everything else is just going to be a letdown if you carry on. Well, no, because no, no, he was really no. intrigued by the bike. Yes. Well, yeah, but what I mean is, if you started opening all the other stuff while he wanted to play with the bus... Yeah, it might be a bit not, overwhelming, not, not isn't interested, it? he just wants the bus. So, so leave him go with the bus and he can have some more after all tomorrow. Maybe. Yeah, we'll spread the presents out a bit, I think. Yeah. But yeah, he was just so... Actually, I think the first thing he was really into was the balloon. Yeah, his eyes just didn't move off the balloons as well. So, and then quite like that tractor thing. Oh no, the fire engine, wasn't yeah. it? Oh. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So yeah, now we are off to attempt to find soft play that we've not been to before. Um, you can book online, but it is closed quite a lot. So. So many reports of people going booked online, I want a refund. You told me I'd have it back a month ago. Mm. But it's supposed to be really good. It's meant to be really good. But they just have staffing issues. Yeah. But it's, it's also you buy one coffee and then it's free refills, which is a requirement today. But yeah, we're off to try and find soft play. Back in the car. Sounds still. In traffic. So, the world of the internet told us that soft play was open. We drove there, we got there, soft play, soft play was shut. Covid. Lots Good job I didn't book online again, didn't it? <laughs> but, um, it's just naughty because I, you know, they can't help, they can't help being ill, they can't help having staff issues. But they should update their, like, is it a yeah, Facebook social, page? Yeah, social media. Just, said, just, just back up on the twenty sixth of August, but the twenty eighth is shut again. Just, just this. put it, put something on the internet so people don't drive all that way. Luckily, parking was free today. So anyway, we went and had some breakfast. It was really nice, or brunch, breakfast, breakfast. breakfast. Uh, now we are sat in traffic. We're gonna go to Starbucks. We're gonna see if. Just because Ruben's having a nap. Yeah, I need Ruben to have his morning nap before. Are we going to the farm then? Yeah. We're going to go to the farm. Um, let him. We need him to have at least 20 minutes, so this traffic is actually working in our favour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to Starbucks and see if we can blag me a uh, pumpkin spice latte in the sunshine. I need to blag one new member. Is it gold members then? Yeah, or no, is it's it's any member. Any member. You've got a Starbucks membership card thing. Yeah, pumpkin spice latte this season. Woohoo! I'm pleased to announce I've got my pumpkin spice latte. It's too hot to drink it. <laughs> it's like far too hot. Yeah, I want it. Frappuccino in there. No ice. Yeah. Could do ice coffees or ice drinks. Right. Okay. We're now on the way to the farm. Go see a donkey. <laughs> Drink our autumnal drinks in the very hot sunshine. So we made it to the farm. Okay. Pumpkin spice latte in hand. There were too many people by the donkeys, which are my favourite. Practically my birthday. But now we're at the piggies and those piglets. Oh! having some lunch. Me and John have stripped off to our shorts. It's hot. 
Ruben is naked. Well, he's got a nappy on, eating his lunch. I think he had a good morning. He, he liked the baby pigs. Back in the car. Everyone's got their clothes back on. Ruben's got a fresh outfit, hydrated, caffeined up. And now we're off to the park. Riven. You're shy now. Yeah. <laughs> you are. <laughs> That's quite handy actually. Push your legs. Park done. Now off to see Bapchat and Grandad, John's mum and dad, and uh, have a feast of food. And Ruben, when he wakes up, has more presents to open. <laughs> food, had a lovely cake, um, John and I are both knackered, <laughs> but Ruben is in bed, we are just washing a couple of Ruben's bits because one of them, I think he's going to wear his birthday t-shirt again tomorrow to see my family, um, so I'm eating pretzels, drinking Diet Coke, watching Celebrity Master Chef. Your pancake's good. Did you eat them all? Pancakes and banana and blueberry. Was he yummy? Good boy. All gone. Good boy. Hello. Sunday. Um, it's been rather pleasant. I think we both feel a lot more relaxed today than yesterday. Uh, Reuben slept from half past seven to half past six. Yep. Which is amazing. Um, Good job of knackering him out yesterday. <laughs> we pretty... pretty pooped ourselves. Yeah. We went to bed at like 20 to 10. Half nine. Half nine. nine. So obviously we got to do that till, till like half six and then got up, played for a little bit and uh, had his breakfast and then had an hour and a half nap. Uh, like Ruben's morning nap is normally like 40 minutes, sometimes it's an hour but an hour and a half and we're like winning at life. So we got to have a nice relaxed morning, just taking it easy, Olympics on. Oh. Like, Paralympics, sorry, Paralympics on. Um, just like relaxing, enjoying, enjoying our bank holiday Sunday. It was a bit like days pre Reuben. It's been that relaxing po uh, points. Yeah. So yeah. Now we are. That lady's got a coat on. I'm melting. And that woman has a coat on. Degrees, um, degrees, we're going to. Uh, my sister's house where there's a barbecue but we're going different things doing different things on the way first thing is Starbucks <laughs> it's a requirement and yummy Sunflowers. Yeah. You're right, BG. Yeah. So we went to the sunflower farm, which we weren't sure if we were going to get to the go this weekend, but it was so pretty. 
bloody hot. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, like it's like a sauna, isn't it? It's just so pretty. Like, well, I suppose it's that thing, and it some flowers need sun. Perfect location for growing some sunflowers, um, but you can't take the buggy or the. Anything. You could if you were a it. What? Take the buggy. Although it's a rough old track. It says there, you're not meant it? to though. Did it? Yeah. I see that. No, there's a whole thing saying that there wasn't it wasn't buggy or wheelchair friendly. Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Um, I don't mean you can. It just yeah, means but, that you want to struggle. You know, there's a big yeah. sign saying that if you fall over and hurt yourself, you're not they're not liable, yeah. so but it was pretty, but obviously we had to take turns in carrying Ruben. He did do a lot of walking though. He did walk quite a bit. Yeah, it's hard though, man. For his little legs, so that, but the thing is it was all rough though, isn't it? Uneven. But we did it. It was really sweet. I'm really glad we did. Um, yeah. and now he's asleep in the back. We just nipped to Sainsbury's to get some bits to take to my sisters. Um and yeah, what on on the way. Ruben's gonna meet some of his cousins for the first time. It's really cute. Hope there's a bit of shade. Normally my sister has a big gazebo up in her giant garden, so because I am melting. Say good morning. Kind of didn't vlog that well yesterday but we had a lovely time at the family barbecue uh -huh. it was really good uh reuben just wanted to play with the big boys he's got two cousins that are two and three and that is all he wanted to do he wanted to play with the big boys really cute moment where the two and three year old had a hand each guiding him around the garden so sweet but yeah we kind of left a bit late reuben slept the entire like 40 minute drive home and then slept all night till quarter to seven. So we've been up. And now John's got up. And John's going to be going to get all the presents out of the car from yesterday. He still hasn't opened all his presents from Saturday yet. So many presents. Very lucky boy. But yeah, happy bank holiday Monday. Hello. Good afternoon. Um, yeah, well, the morning disappeared from us. Um, just saying that it was quite to beach. It was quite a productive little morning. Ruben opened some more presents. We still have unopened presents in our house. They will probably be done this evening or tomorrow now. It's just he wants to play with it when he opens it, doesn't he? He doesn't understand the loads, and it's kind of nice to actually see him enjoy the it's present. Time, yeah. yeah. Um, and everyone tells me that doesn't last. <laughs> you know. Like Christmas, it'd be like next, next. So, yeah, so, um, and then done some housey bits today, and now we're off to find somewhere for lunch and hopefully do a bit of baby uh. fun art. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not, as, it's still quite sunny. I know I've got a cardigan on, but it is quite warm, but it's not, oh, cheeky. not quite as uh, hot as yesterday, oh, thankfully. <laughs> you did well, you did well. Yeah, we're gonna go find some lunch. Well, we're gonna jump with friends. <laughs> yeah, it's a cool down between the rest of the lot. Hey. It's a cool down between the rest of the lot. Yeah. <laughs> Ruben. How are you? We're back on the road. Had some lunch. Had a group of old ladies tell us how uh, well behaved Ruben was. Saying how the hot it was. We had one that was left on the road. So we've gone to that place quite a few no options, times, um, and they always the, the food is nice, but it was like you know we picked off the special board. Basically, I queued up to order. John sat with Ruben, and it was like our first choice sold out. 
second choices were sold out and it was like and all of a sudden everything off the board was taken down yeah they literally took all the specials off and it's like breakfast then <laughs> so you can have a breakfast or a choice of one sandwich so yeah so i had a ham ham sandwich which was really nice like proper farmer's ham um with like salad and, and it was crisps and thing and john had a cornish breakfast and reuben had fish fingers um and yeah but they were nice and then we did our stressful children's craft section we get to go pick it up next weekend trying to get a handprint with a tired baby not not fun not easy but we did it for the for the memories now uh, we're going for a nice little drive hopefully we will have a nap and uh, mama and dada will get a coffee Hi! It's a nice smile. <gasps> that one. <gasps> one hand! Scream if you want to go faster. <laughs> well, what are you doing? Are you being a daredevil? Don't be doing that. So we had fun at the park. For anyone who's counting, that was my third pumpkin spice latte at uh, Starbucks for the weekend. And now, <gasps> John is here too, but he's got no top on and you don't get to enjoy that. Uh, we are playing Little People and the uh, bus. Hey guys. So, after a weekend of playing and running and swings and fire trucks and little people and presents and sunflowers and cousins and barbecues, Ruben is in bed. <laughs> John and I had hoist and chicken for tea. I was so hungry, I didn't record it, but trust me, we've eaten food. Um, and now we're watching celebrity master chef and i am trolling instagram looking for nail inspiration because my, my nails are done on wednesday but yeah that was ruben's first birthday the fact that he's gone to bed quite easily every night for the last few days i think it proves he's had a nice time or at least burnt off a lot of energy <laughs> Yeah, so it's insane to think that we have a one-year-old now, but he's been such a good boy. Um, we still have a good eight presents left on the floor, and I think um, we'll be opening a couple a day for at least the week. I don't know, <laughs> but yeah, he's had a good day, or well, he's had a good weekend, John and I have had a lovely weekend. Both of our families have got to enjoy Reuben, which is important to us. Um, and hopefully we've captured, also not looked at the footage, but hopefully we've captured some nice little bits for us to look back on when we're, I was going to say old and grey, but I'm already old and already grey, but you know what I mean. When Reuben's 17 and he's gone out with his friends on his birthday because he doesn't want to hang out with mummy and dada, um, we can watch that and think, more oh, our baby but yeah it's been a good weekend um it's probably december by the time you're watching this because i am so behind on the vlog but yeah whenever it is that you're watching this i hope you're okay i hope you enjoyed it and yeah talk to you in the next one bye guys